Welcome to my channel. So hello, everyone. Today I want to add domain controller to Windows Server 2012 R2. So just click on the virtual box and start here. And after this is start and we have to do the input to auto delete and then put the password on it. So already password one. And after we have to wait for server manager to start so we can add the roles. Then we have to change the name to server and make the computer name so we can add the computer name to the after this role is start here just click on the local server and a computer name so just click on that and we have to change the name so just change here and put the PC one okay and it asks for the restart so just okay for changes so restart now after start so we can go to the input so we have to go back here input keyboard so PS, password one i just changed the name and the change the password so After shows the screen back and it shows server manager here. So first we have to check the network connection because we want to change uh, static IP so server not change the automatically IP so just we can click right click here and just go to network connection and make sure the IP is the static so we go property here and after property IPv4 and see here I change the address to 192.168.2.100 so this is a permanent address for the server and is our default gateway and just click OK and after close this one it's getting the signal so just right here close this one and we open the server manager again and then after we start the add role and feature so this will to the goes here so just click here configure roles and features and just click next and it's asked for the server pool so it's 192.168.2.100 is the server so click on that and it's a add to the active directory domain services click here add features click next group policy management next and install and it takes few times and after it's installed active directory so then we 
you can see the features and after this install after we have to configure the as a domain controller this server so it's just wait for a few minutes so it should be done soon and then it's complete it's close and after it shows little icon to promote this PC uh, suppose deployed and say promote this server as a domain controller so just click and it say add a domain controller for this one so add a domain controller to existing domain add a do new domain to existing forest add a new forest so here so after we have to is a add a new forest and the root domain name is like let's say allo dot l o c a l click next and it's checking is like the name and it's say okay it's r2 because the forest function level is r2 and it's a forest function level is r2 and here is the we can put the password so I can put password password and just click next so just click next on this to say next and it's verifying the bios name and assign to the domain as silo he found it the name is okay just click next click next and just verify the script next so it's take few time to the verification for the PC one because we're making the Windows Server 2012 on this one so it's everything look okay just install and windows directly installed to the server and it's restarting for first time so we have to log into domain using the password and the name so and it's applying to the group policy and services for making the server for first time to run and this is pretty simple installation for Windows Server 2000 12 to make a domain controller after we run the services so after restart so we have to log into the system so click input here and it's you can see your solo slash administrator here so I have to log into the server so I have to put the server password in for so 
do so this should be login password two is going all it's right here so it's applying the role to log into the server first time and here we have to server manager this window pop up and we can close to when it's open or you can open from here click here to server manager start from here so anytime you can close this pop up start start up if you don't want just say you don't need it so so how you install the windows server 2012 admin domain controller on the server and after we have to check the services what we have it here so here is the local server and you can hide here and it's still loading so you can see here is the pc1 and is a domain controller solo.local this is the server and here we can add user active directory you can see click on the left side so you can see active directory installed dns server is installed also and there is a file and storage you can have have the extra like a storage you can install and you can come back here to close this and just click on here so here is the administrative tool just click on that and here you can see everything active directory and here is the site and services and here is the user and computer so just click on that and here is the user right now say local and this is the controller and thus here you can see there is no computer yet but we can add computer in future video and here is the user so you can see here this is the administrator we can change to any is a guest and we can add any user if i want to so just click on next as a new and here is you have the contract that you can use as a adder user here so you can add user to and it work as a client here so this will we can do later so this is all the services you can see after i make the domain controller to this pc so if you like my video please like and subscribe thank you to watch my channel salo Akhtan.